Dr. Friedrich Hubler, Dr. Zhang Su Yin, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends from Unimog community, this is the Yang Wenming from Shenzhen Polytechnic, China. It's my honor to be invited to make a presentation on digital transformation of Tibet institutions. My presentation will cover five sections. Now let's see number one, UNESCO strategies on digital transformation. In this year, UNESCO has published two strategies. The first one is the UNESCO midterm strategy. In this strategy, we can find that there are four strategic objectives. Among the four objectives, three of them are connected with digital transformation in Tibet. And also from the outside circle, there are nine outcomes. Five of the nine outcomes are closely related to digital transformation. This is the latest UNESCO strategy for Tibet. And there are three thematic areas. In number two, developing skills for inclusive and the sound. economies. In this thematic area, Tibet institutions are supposed to identify skills for digital and the green economy. This for there are three things this is related to digital terms. Five of the is for inclusive and sustainable economies. In this thematic area, Tibet institutions are supposed to identify skills for digital and the green economy. At the same time, we are supposed to deliver Tibet to address youth employment and meet demand for digital and the green transition at the workplace, online, and other learning setting. So both strategies are stressing the digital skills and the digital skills delivery in Tibet. Now let's see the second part, technology involvement and the digital transformation. We, all, we are all familiar with the <clears throat> Industry 4.0. Actually, the involvement of Industry 1, 2, 3, 4. Behind that, that's the logic of technology involvement. So for Industry 4.0, actually the digital transformation of manufacturing and production. In Industry 4.0, we can find many new emerging technologies, just like uh, A, A, I, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, M, V, Q. There are so many digital technologies. Here we can find the society are developing from society one to society five. Actually, every different society are matching different industry. For society five, it is matching digital transformation. Okay. Society five is described as the super smart city, a super smart society, which aims at creating a society where people can tackle various social challenges by making use of digital technologies or digital transformation. And also in the past, we've attached a much importance to physical skills, cognitive skills, and the softer skills. And we attach much importance to IQ and EQ. But nowadays in 21st century, in AI age, in digital age, we are supposed to put more emphasis on digital skills, that is DQ. Now let's see transition of future world of work. Based on world economic form, and uh, by 2025, 97 million jobs, new jobs will emerge, while at the same time, 85 million jobs will be displaced. Now let's see the contrast of uh, jobs ins and outs. 
in next five years. Ins refer to increasing demand. There are 20 of them. And the outs refer to decreasing demand. There are also 20 of them. The table shows that among 20 ins jobs, 13 jobs are closely related to digital transformation. While the 20 out jobs are not connected with digital transformation, most of them are manual, repetitive, and lower skilled. Okay, now let's see this one, the job family transition trends. Currently, we have 26 job families. In the future, we only have eight fam uh, job families. Uh, these trends show that the, fu the future jobs will be more systematic, requiring more techniques, technologies, and uh, skills especially demanding more digital skills and business marketing skills. Now let's see this one, the COVID-19 is also changing the landscape of uh, world of work. COVID-19 is pushing companies to scale remote work by 83%, to accelerate the digitalization by 84%, and to accelerate automation by 50%. So uh, the COVID-19 is uh, helping accelerate the rate of automation. Now let's see future needs uh, on digital skills. In the past, I shipped people, I shipped talents are uh, quite popular, quite popular. In the future, Tibet institutions are supposed to supply Home shaped talents, home shaped technicians. They are supposed to boast broad general knowledge and also special skills, different special skills. In the field, all the people, people are supposed to have three kinds of skills. The first, first one, one is different skills. skills. That means STEAM skills. And the second one is the transversal skills, which is also called soft skills. Number three, the specialized skills, matching industry 4.0. This kind of covers many digital skills, just like AI, IoT. Now let's see the global digital skills landscape and uh, the rapid widespread digital, digitalization has attended to the nature of work, making digital skills an essential attribute for modern workforce. Employers are actively seeking employees with digital skills in order to adapt to the increasingly digitalized environment. While the demand for digital skills is high, supply is low. That means we have huge digital gap. And the business often struggle to find the talents for digital skills. But what is the drivers of digital skills gap? Among the different drivers, we can see the middle one. Traditional one, modes of education alone may not be keeping up with employees' needs of digital skills. So our Tibet institutions cannot continue to work at Euro. We need to engage in, in innovation and uh, digital skills delivery. There are four, based on World Bank, there are four types of digital skills, foundational level and uh, intermediate level and advanced level, specialized level, different levels, four levels. They are matching four levels of, of occupation, from the vocational occupation to middle level occupation, professional occupation, and uh, specialized occupation. And uh, from this mapping of digital skills and the levels of education, we can find uh, our secondary level Tibet schools and the uh, higher level Tibet institutions are matching intermediate and advanced levels of digital skills. So we are supposed to produce, uh, to offer intermediate digital skills 
in advanced digital skills. Now let's see the last part about digital transformation practice in Shenzhen Polytechnic, China. When we are talking about digital transformation, most of people will think about digital is more important, but actually the key word of digital transformation is transformation, not digital. And also the key to digital transformation lies with the talents. This is the Tibet Digital Transformation Framework by Shenzhen Polytechnic. And in this framework, we can see behind this framework, we adopted the toyism. Based on toyism, we know to produce one, one produce three, one produce two, two produce three, three produce everything. So the very center is the digital transformation. Digital transformation will produce industrialization of digital technologies and the digital transformation of traditional industries. They will push forward the global sustainable development in four dimensions, economic, social, environmental governance. And also the world of work need to match to support the four transformations. And in order to support the world of work change, we need to offer digital skills, including digital literacy, digital operation skills, digital leadership, digital development potentials. In order to offer this kind of digital skills, the Tibet institutions are supposed to engage in 10 actions. The 10 actions include theory and the methodology transformation and the program and the curriculum and the digital resources development, teacher professional development, students digital skills delivery, digital teaching and learning, community engagement, digital governance, digital technology and the research innovation, digital infrastructure. Okay, there are 10 actions or 10 dimensions. And also, we are formulating digital transformation action plan for the next five years. It will cover 10 actions, 10 different actions. Uh, Tibet institutions by themselves cannot deliver digital skills effectively. We need to work with uh, uh, digital companies. So we have formulated digital transformation ecosystem with 14 key companies or top companies, include Huawei, include Alibaba and Tencent and the different companies. And we have engaged in different digital transformation practice. Just like we have established the artificial intelligence school offering the latest technology programs. And also we have established AI, AI Research Institute. We have established the robotic training schools. That's a kind of digital skills training school. And uh, we have established 5G model campus. Uh, we have built 158 smart classrooms, three VR simulation centers, and the one-stop I study teaching and learning platform, four national Tibet program, teaching and learning database, and more than 1,000 online courses. In the future, we are going to build, we are going to develop 500 quality online courses each year. And we are going to develop 20 digital textbooks each year. And we are developing Tibet Big Data Research Center and also AI Empowered Tibet Research Center, okay? And uh, finally, I want to share good news with uh, our Univoc community colleagues or friends. Uh, we are successful in applying for the UNESCO chair on digitalization in Tibet. We are going to engage six projects. The number one is the Tibet Digital Transformation Theory Research, 
And uh, number two, Tibet program development of emerging technology and the traditional Tibet program transformation and the qualification development of universal digital skills. And also Tibet edutech and the pedagogy transformation, capacity building. And uh, that's our UNESCO tier projects. And we expect work with all of our Unibog community friends to push forward or to promote digital transformation. That's all of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much.